Now, I'll be honest with you guys, this year we have had too much CPU air coolers on the channel, and most of it was 360 AAOs, eventually touching base with 240, 280, and 420 couple, maybe two, three, that's it. But when we're talking about air coolers, this was definitely something pleasing for the end of the year to check out and to see what it brings to the table. So we saw it at Gamescom this year. This is Be Quiet's Dark Rock 5 with a TDP up to 210 watts. And you saw me feature it in Pure Base 501, which did an outstanding job, I do have to admit. Now, the thing is about this uh, CPU air cooler is that with, when you take a look at the heatsink, it doesn't look that big to cool down uh, 7900X3D to the peak where it actually outperforms some other coolers. And basically, in some sense, it doesn't make sense when we're talking about the heatsink. But just the first impression is it looks small, it looks kind of cool, and it's... It is what it is, right? But then when you take a closer look, so we have minimalistic design, first of all, and most important, no RGB, full black design, heatsink black, fan black, we have the top cover black, everything is just in a single color, nicely designed. And for you guys that are searching for something that is completely minimalistic, no RGB, that is just working properly, this is the thing, this is definitely the thing. So when you take a look at this one, we have, Dimensions 101 times 136 times 161. Total weight is just a bit above uh, one kilo, and it has support uh, up to Intel LGA 1700 and AM5 and AM4. Now I don't know about 1851, but I have to check that and I'll leave that uh, additionally in the comment section. But regardless of that, so maximum power capacity 210 uh, watts of TDP at maximum RPMs of the fan the noise level is 29.8 decibels and we have six heat pipes with six millimeter diameter outstanding now for the fan we have silent wings uh for 120 pwm fan 120 times 120 times 25 maximum rpm is uh, 2100 airflow at 100 percent 55.1 CFM or 93.5 cubic meter per hour. Then we go air pressure at 2.73 millimeters H2O, 4 pin PWM, of course, and lifespan is 300,000 hours. The cool thing about this CPU tower cooler is the actual design and how the heat pipes are shaped in terms of they removed the fan a bit well they moved the heatsink a bit further towards the um, heatsink of the vrms on the motherboard just to have more clearance for rgb rams if you really want to go but it's kind of funny you know you create a air cooler that is totally minimalistic stealth design and outstanding looks and then you move it on the side just to have a possibility to place rgb wraps this is my philosophy just something that i like to just discuss uh, shortly in the video each time but regardless of that you can go with high profile rams without any rgb so there's there's that the thing that i'm a bit disappointed just a bit is that it doesn't have a possibility to mount the cooler on the CPU with an offset specifically designed for AMD because we had loads of AIOs for instance that were able to be offset and of course air coolers as well because that's where it started from first and we don't have it here but regardless of that it really doesn't matter because this CPU tower cooler performed quite nicely in terms of uh, performing in the pure base 5.1 with stock 2 fans. So just to clarify some things, so let's go into benchmarks and I have to give you some idea. So we have Pure Wings 3 140, one on front, one at the back. You saw that in that video already. You already know everything, right? We have this cooler right here and the front fan is somewhere in the middle, cooling half of the part going towards the GPU, half of the part going towards the air cooler. And in those terms, it kind of is strange if it will have enough airflow through the to, through the chassis and altogether right but the case is designed that way so it kind of does create enough airflow and here we go i the 64 extreme edition cpu went up to 92 degrees which in that sense is a bit higher than usually what i expected but that was a 360 aao right clock speed 4850 gpu went up to 6970, but that's totally relevant for this scenario. And then we go to Cinebench R23, and this is where it surprised me quite positively, and I'm really impressed. It starts at 90 degrees the first run, it goes down to 89, and 
last seven benches last seven runs at 88 degrees not going lower not going higher this is an average that sticks specifically on 88 and i was quite surprised then we go with clock speed 49.25 starts with the first run at that and then constantly last nine was 49.50 outstanding it did go to 49.75 5000 and a bit below but this is an average that i got and this is outstanding and then the scores 26153 then it goes to 26222 and jumps instantly to 26425 so on average i would say 26330 which for an air cooler is outstanding because usually what we get with an air cooler was okay except for some that actually did have this course i think that was only one that was nt uh, nhd 15 the gen 2 one uh, but this one what it how it performed this is a shocker because first and most importantly right 161 of height you have only one fan you can add another fan here at the back because you do get additional brackets for that and that's really good if you want to create a push-pull combination on the heatsink that's even better and yeah i'm quite positively surprised how it performed now for the mounting mechanism why i stated at the beginning i think i did state at the beginning that has a really easy mounting mechanism so for specifically for amd you have to remove the original retention bracket so you remove the four screws and the retention brackets from the motherboard you place four plastic standoffs and on top of them you place the two retention brackets sideways and you have to take into consideration that the thread part needs to be on the outer side of the cpu right after that you use four screws to tie up those uh, retention brackets and place thermal paste remove the foil from the cpu block and place the cooler on top you get a screwdriver because one screw needs to go right check this out so one screw needs to go directly let me just remove it here from the side through the heatsink and uh, you have to tie it evenly that's quite logical the cover is magnetically attached so there is literally no issues while removing it you just have to get used to the heaviness of the magnet because it really does hold it quite nicely and basically adding another fan on, on the back side just i think it should add performance right in in this scenario in this case what i would suggest eventually if you want to have even better cooling and lower down the thermals not getting better performance below lowering down the thermals adding eventually two more fans on the front and you don't need two fans on the top you can just add one for heat dissipation of the heat sink which would be quite enough and definitely you'll see the difference in thermals in this scenario so the gpu might even go at 67 with the additional fans on the front and the cpu might just lower by one to two degrees if you add two more fans on the front and one at the top which is outstanding because of the scores and because of the easy mounting okay easy mounting is something that i would say for approved badge but i'm not going to give it an approved badge because it performed outstandingly good and not only that it didn't sound anywhere close to the sound of a 360 aao some of them that i had for benchmarks so it was quieter quieter so pc crazy performance badge for be quiet dark rock 5 without a doubt my recommendation specifically what i stated at the case review these two are outstanding combination and the only thing that you could go further with is adding a couple of more fans and you have a nice ventilated case with an outstanding cooler subtle design clean no rgb i had to turn on these i could switch them off but they just look silly if i uh, switch off these rams that are rgb in general so yeah thumbs up again i'll put the links for both of the products so pure base 501 and the dark rock 5 you can do the combination uh, precisely as i did and you'll be definitely satisfied so the links are in the description and don't forget to subscribe hit the like button click the notification bell and i'll see you quite shortly in a new one thanks for watching bye bye